This is what my Notion setup used to look like, and this is what it looks like now. Three years in, thank God I don't suck at this. I get rid of all the colors because I can't see them too well. Yeah, I'm colorblind. It doesn't all bother me when I'm video editing. Editing thumbnails, being a creative person on the internet. So I haven't done this in a while. I haven't done like a how I organize my life with Notion video in a long time. So I wanted to go through and talk with you guys on how I actually use Notion on a day-to-day -day basis. I have a template that pretty much has my Notion. So if you guys wanna go check out that template, riseprotective.com slash Notion templates, do the thing. Let's dive into it all real quick. How can you not be nostalgic about Notion? So if we look at an example of my Notion workspace, we can really see that there are a lot of cool things going on regarding interconnectivity with a sync tenor that works across the board with all the different aspects of my life. So obviously I have things like my daily planner, which I've been a big fan of for a long time. Uh, so it, just going right into this synced header, you can see that we have my daily planner here, my task and event calendar, my task framework and my content calendar framework, my business CRM, my second brain, the master content calendar, a YouTube podcast and social media header section as well. So this lets me interconnect between everything in this workspace. So if I ever want to click on this, and get back to home base. It's really nice to just be able to function like that and just go through and not have to ever use the sidebar because the sidebar is just, the functionality there is not my favorite, but the synced header has really solved the issue for a lot of people who use it. So that basic synced header, just look here is like, yeah, I can always get back to different things like the content calendar or my daily planner. And then we get the task and event calendar, which is what I'm gonna be diving into next. So I have a side hustle as well as a personal task and event calendar. And the only reason for that is the fact that I want to keep it separate for the people I work with. And that's what it is for me. But you know, there are maybe solutions coming to where it could be interconnected. More on that coming soon. But with this setup that I have going on, you know, it's nice to change the views that I have for my personal and side hustle. Now I when I only did it by myself, I didn't need to do this. So as you can see here, if I open this up, example YouTube task, this has a completely different task and event type sub bucket, overall bucket sort of situation here. This task management is broken out by like whether it's content or projects or system improvements, administrative, all those kind of things. Uh, the basic thing of it as well is that it's connected to my CRM. It has meeting notes associated to it. Whereas the personal task and event calendar is really just you know, just this basic sort of like, okay, what day is it? Is it due at a certain day? Is it housekeeping, work, school, scheduling, reflection, and then basic stuff like this as well. And you can add any tags that you want that makes sense. And this is actually similar to what I always used to use when I was in school. So now, as you can see here, that does have the same situation though, where there is a recurring task set up here. So if you ever want to put in recurring tasks, you can drop any task in there. And so for example, I were to do this and I had it in my task framework, that's something I needed to do on Mondays, take out the trash, I could press that and it would create it for me and then I'd be able to drag it out on there. So if we look through this functionality as well, this capture inbox lets me get ideas out and just put them very easily. When I'm in my planning sessions, I can take any ideas that I had from the capture inbox and just drop them in there. So if another day I were to have put, I need to make, uh, make, chicken Kiev. This is filtered so that the date, and I'll, I'll drag this for you to show you, the filter that the date is empty, the status is not checked, and it's created within the past week. So as you'll see here, basically that filtering has it so that if I have anything that happens, so I can go and drag this guy onto the certain day that I want, and then it will nicely have the ability to just quickly go in and out of the capture box. Say I end up being like, okay, well, I can't actually do it on that day. I don't know when I'm gonna do it. I can drag it back on there, which is really nice. And for other purposes, you know, if you, if you want to, you can actually do something like adding the status property here so that if there's something that you don't wanna necessarily delete, but you also don't necessarily want to always see what you can do here is have that be the case. So say you don't wanna delete it because it was like, mm, maybe it was a good idea. What you can do is press this and then it'll make it disappear. Now, as you can see here, this is the place that I plan. I have things like the daily highlights. So this is very basic stuff that I've talked about in other videos, but essentially there's a concept called the daily highlight by Jake Knapp and John Zaratsky, 
where if you have one big thing you want to do each day, it's nice to just have an idea of that. And then I make sure that I always put that on my calendar. So if this was like the real one, let's say Tuesday, I want to record four videos. I could put a task on there that says record four videos. Now this is separate. Is this something that I personally do? I don't know if it makes sense for everybody, but I would make sure on my to-do list, say this is like my, my to-do list for the day. It's not my personal to-do list. So what I would do is go to my side hustle task and event calendar. And this example YouTube task could be record four videos. So I'd put record four videos in here. And then if we take those other example tasks and put them on today, what we can do is we can actually show you the functionality of my daily planner, which is a very similar sense of it has the side hustle and personal tasks all for me here. So the daily planner is where I take action on things. I tackle my day by opening up and seeing, okay, at what time am I in? So this is an example calendar, but basically my personal calendar says that I'm in my side hustle time block right now. So I just open this one and say, okay, so I got to record four videos. Cool. What posts do I have for the day? This is filtered so that it's from my content calendar and it says where publish day is today and not published. So when I change the status of anything to publish, it'll disappear. And the same is this for my social media posts that are accompanying these as well. Or if they're organic social media posts, like the quotes that I have. And this is filtered in a nice sense that when I finish a task for the day and I check it off, it disappears. So by the end of every day, the reason I have it filtered to where it's not published, when I change it to published, then it disappears. And then at the end of every single day, I can see, okay, what team tasks do I have remaining? What tasks do I have remaining? What can I delegate to the next day? Because I want at the end of the day, this to say nothing. And that goes as well for my personal tasks, which include habit tracking. So my habit tracking's here with my physical and non-physical habits with my daily highlight which is connected to my notes database. And then here at the end of the day, I can say, okay, I check those off. I'm done for the day. And nicely enough, this also has a, a very cool spot for where I can input my different ideas in my second brain throughout the day. So I don't have to leave this page. And if I ever want to get some sort of short term view of what's going on and it's assigned to me, I can see that here in the side hustle one. And then for the personal calendar, I can see stuff that's going on in the next few days as well for the calendar view. So then if we go into like the project management sort of things that I have here, I have my content calendar and my second brain that is more of an idea knowledge management. So my content calendar is a continuous project with various small projects within them. If we put example YouTube videos in here, you can see, you know, I don't really post on Tuesdays but just really quick showing the functionality here. If I go back into side hustle tasks, it'll show it. And if it changed it to publish, it would disappear. Going back to the content calendar, this is a place that's got continuous projects in here. So this whole workspace is going to have all of my very, uh, I mean like my minor premium and free uh, templates within it that I will use on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's gonna have my entire master content calendar in here as well as my entire second brain system connected with everything as well. So this, this is something that I use constantly. This second brain is something that I input to a lot and it's a place where you can really get your ideas out and then utilize it with task management with this, as you can see here, the connection is related here. So when I do something in my second brain, if I go and give you an example of a content idea, so if we go here, so YouTube video about my Notion workspace. What happens here is I can go, okay, it's a YouTube idea. It's about Notion. Yep, it's about Notion, product to app software idea. And then what I could do is I'm working through this and I say, mm, I wanna make a video. I wanna make a video about my Notion workspace. This is an idea. Okay, but I know I want to do it on this day. Let's go into my second brain, my Notion workspace. Okay, so then what happens is if you'll see, you probably saw it for a split second, it disappeared here because it's filtered so that it's created in the past week and the status is not checked off. So essentially what I've built out in here is if we go to the all ideas, is I've built a system where there's a bunch of different check boxes based off different parts of things. So if we got status, so if this gets connected to a task, or my book library, or my meal calendar, or sorry, my meal planner, or my content calendar with these relations, 
then this thing is essentially taking all of these different checkboxes and saying if it's checked off or if this is checked off or if this is checked off or if this is checked off, all of these here, whether it's my side hustle, my preschool tasks, my content calendar, my book, my meal planner, this will check it off. So if I take this off, you can see both of these things will not be checked off anymore. And then what's nice is to just have it in a sense that you can, you could always just put these as always hide, right? So then when you're working in things, it's like, okay, this is an always hide. All these things are always hide. So then you only really need to focus on whether it's the one status or not. And then for the relations, you can obviously keep those shown if you would like so that you can easily connect those two. So you could have it be always show these because these can be set to always show or hide when empty every single time. But I'm just showing you the fact that it's really nice to have it be where you can just be like, okay, so these are the ones that I want to always be showing and the other ones are hidden. So then when you connect to anything else, it'll be nice and be like, okay, let's do a record YouTube video, right? That'll check it off. Or the content calendar will check it off. It's uh, my notion workspace one will check it off. And then when we go into note taking, this is something that's pretty simple. So if we go back to my workspace, we go and look at my notes database. This is connected to the daily highlight, and this is actually my real one here. So I don't want to dive too into my real one here, but if we go here, go to edit, today's journal. So what I have really nice here is I have a different journal setup that showcases, okay, what's my daily highlight? It has some ideas for my second brain that I can jot in there. I have a spot where I can put my gratitude journal, my rise productive stuff, my work stuff. All that's really nice and connected here. And then when we work through this, we can see that I actually have a mood situation going on. So we can see what my mood was like on different days, how much of a good mood was I in. As you can see yesterday, eh, could have been better. And I got to be clear with myself on things. So it's nice to always have that going on. And then really quickly, if we dive into things like habit tracking, what I have here is my habit tracker. You'll see that you'll actually have a physical and a simple habit tracker here. So essentially the difference between these two is that this one's just a basic check mark and the other one is a physical habit tracker that is not binary, but is set up so that if, if it hits any of the check marks, just like it was in the second brain. So for example, this is an equation that says, okay, uh, where's the progress at out of a hundred. So if we get the progress to a hundred bicep curls in a day, then this gets checked off. So as you can see, this guy is a hundred. So we get a 99. Nope. We get a hundred. Yep. And then my last thing that I want to go into is something that I've done before and I work with before, which is the goals that I have. So I like to look at my goals uh, from a lot of different aspects. I have different things like work goals. What I, when I was in school, I had different goals, my content goals, my personal goals, my financial goals. So it's really nice to get these different looks as well in my day to day. So I can function through all of these different things and say, okay, how am I working in my life in comparison to the prior year? Eventually when I get there, how am I working in my life? in regards to my physical habits? Am I getting these dream lines done? Am I hitting this amount of push-ups a day or this amount of push-ups a day by this month? Am I getting that raise by that month? Am I getting any progress in my life where I want to by the certain month that I hit? So Notion has been something that I've used for a long time that I've really loved. You have a lot of different access to the, the lower level videos that make up this different main content calendar. So feel no need to buy it, watch the videos and and hopefully it'll help you build out something similar. With that being said, check this video out to see how you can improve your notion and I will see you in the next one.